Even outer space is getting into the Halloween spirit with a so-called zombie star. While you're trick-or-treating tonight, take a look at the sky if it's not too cloudy where you live. Scientists say one day soon, a dead star will awaken. And joining us live from NASA with the details on this zombie star is Dr. Elizabeth Hayes. Dr. Hayes, good morning. Good morning. Happy Halloween. All right. So uh, I haven't heard of this before. Let's start talking about zombie stars. They sound pretty spooky. What exactly are they? They sound spooky, but they're not coming to eat our brains or anything. This is where you've got a dead star. It's not burning anymore, like our sun. Uh, it, it has a companion that is feeding it. And this is why we nickname it a zombie. It's kind of feeding on this material from its companion, but that's all piling up on the surface. It reaches a point where it explodes and shines again and looks like a star. Okay, so why is NASA so interested in the star system that's set to explode soon? Why does it matter for us here on Earth? This is really important because we really want to understand how stars are born, how they die, how we get solar systems like the one we live in. Um, and so understanding the end of stars is also the beginning of getting those elements out into space around them and forming new systems. So we really want to watch this happen uh, kind of close up for this particular system. Yeah, so interesting. Now, there's a lot of buzz over the summer that this particular star system would explode by September. Why hasn't it happened yet? Yeah, it turns out we can't get these stars to follow a calendar. <laughs> um, it's actually a little difficult to predict exactly what day. What's cool with this system is this has happened before. It happens about every 80 years. And so we know it's going to happen soon. We can't pick the day, but sometime in the next couple of years, we can't stop this from happening. The material's piling up. It's going to blow. It's going to blow. Okay, now, this is an interesting question because sometimes what we're seeing far off in the distance actually happened a long time ago. Uh, is this happening now or is this, has this already happened a while back? Really good point. This is about 3,000 light years away, which means when we see it, it will have happened about 3,000 years ago. Uh, but it's still interesting. We'll get to see all of those d details and apply them to other similar systems. It's so crazy to wrap your brain around that, that concept there. Okay, so what do uh, scientists hope to learn by viewing the zombie star? We really want to watch this happen kind of close up. Exactly how do things look right before the star explodes? We have a lot of telescopes we can point at this that we didn't have 80 years ago. So this is going to be amazing, and we want to see what happens after. All that energy is going out into the space around it. How fast is the material moving? You know, what can we pick up about the elements that are coming out and being blown off the surface of the star? These are all questions we want to answer. Okay, and how can our viewers, I know there, there are some clouds up here in the Pacific Northwest, but how can our viewers see the zombie star when the system does explode? Well, I like to tell people to get ready now because there's going to be a new star, but if you haven't been looking, it might not be so apparent. It's going to appear about as bright as the stars in the Big Dipper, but only for a couple days. So you definitely have to get your window between the clouds, go out, find a dark spot. Uh, right now, you can look towards the west after sunset and find this kind of up above the horizon. Um, we've got good star charts and things you can find online. So prepare now, get used to the sky, and it's going to change. All right, now obviously go away from light pollution and all that good stuff. Is there, do you need a fancy telescope for this? No, for that couple days where it's at the, the maximum brightness, you can see it with your eye if you have, you know, clear and dark skies. Um, we'll be following it. If you have binoculars, you can see it for maybe a little bit longer. And then we'll be following it with NASA telescopes for weeks, even months in some cases. And you guys have your own channels as well that people can watch and, and you can get a, maybe a little bit closer view of that with all the tools that you guys have at your disposal, right? We will be excited to share the images we collect and the data, so be sure to follow us on social media at our at NASA Universe accounts, and you will get all of the information as it unfolds. All right. We love space stuff around here. Thank you so much, Dr. Elizabeth Hayes with NASA. Thank you for joining us.